swear there's a grapevine right behind me, I promise you. That inspired me to do this song and I heard it through the grapevine. I was listening and it told me, Marvin Gaye, more Marvin Gaye, more Marvin Gaye. And you know what? What the grapevine wants, the grapevine gets. Heard it through the grapevine, doing it in D minor like the Creedence version. Cape on the first fret if you want to sound like Marvin. Let's go ahead and grab that ukulele brain attention span. If you are a Patreon, which starts at only a dollar a month, the best dollar you can spend every month. You got a printable PDF right in front of you, dudes. But if you don't, all you need is that ukulele brain attention span. Maybe a little grapevine. Got those three things. Follow me on it. Let's break this one down. All right, so let's go ahead and break down that intro, the intro riff. First part of the song seems like a good place to start. It sounds like this. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing something called double stops. What is a double stop? A double stop is when you play two notes at the same time, okay? So you need to take that index finger and put it across the fifth fret of the E and the A string at the same time. All right? And that's a double stop. That's our first double stop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two fingers and we're gonna use the pointer finger to pluck the E string and the middle finger to pluck the A string. Go ahead and pluck just these two notes at the same time. All right, you want those to try to have the same amount of volume. So let me just practice that for a second. Try to get them to ring out evenly, okay? And then the first measure goes one, two, and three, four. So what did I do? I took this ring finger and I put it on the eighth and eighth fret. One, two, and three. Then if you listen to the song, the bass is going to hit a D note. So we're going to run up here and grab the second fret of the C string with our pointer finger on the first beat of the next measure. One, two, and three, and four, and. A little syncopation there to start over, all right? So that second measure goes one, two, and three, and four, and. All right, so the two bars together. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four, and. All right, now that happens five times in the song, um, but. You don't really necessarily have to play it five times. You can play it two times, you can play it one time. It's a riff that you can throw in any time in there, but you should get it down and make sure you get that timing right. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four, and a boom. Because that's really what's going to make it, and that's what makes the song recognizable. So after you play that riff, you're going to go into the verse. And the songs we're gonna, the chords we're going to need for this song, we're only going to need four. We need a D minor, A7. G, and one little bar chord, B minor. This is a good song to practice muting and practice bar chording because there's nothing too fancy. The hard part's going to be and the for the beginners, but this is a great place to test yourself, all right? So what are we going to do? We're going to need a D minor, and we're going to go, this is the verse, okay? The strum pattern, let's look at that real quick. It's going to go down, up, mute. Down up mute, 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 down up mute. Now this is called a mute strum or a chunk strum, and it adds a lot of effect to this song. If you need a little extra help with this one, check the links below in the description, and there will be a link for chunk strum. Okay? So it's gonna happen for two measures over the D or four mutes. One, two, three. But you would count it like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So your mutes happen on the twos and the fours. Okay? And that's the I bet you're wondering how I do about your plans. So with A7, it happens one time. And then G one time. Okay, so let's go ahead and play through those um, four bars together. Now when 
we do this over the verse, it's going to happen two times. So let's go ahead and put the lyrics up. Now, if you listen really, really closely too, from the A7 to the G, they're actually switching on the upstroke. So if you go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, it's going to match up with the recording a little better. Not necessary. I will change that way, um, but that's something that you need to practice too. Like one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So let's go ahead and put the lyrics up for the verse, and let's play for the verse together.
also in the key of D minor if you want to take a fat, nasty solo. Which is a really, really, really nice song to do with. Real quick open position. O, two, one, three, O, three. With that, you can do all kinds of end. You also have three, five, three, five. So with those two positions, you can. So that was it. Bet you're wondering how I knew. Happy to bring you. I love this song. When I was a little boy, the California Raisins used to sing this, and I used to play it with a tennis racket. Be like, heard it through the grapevine. Because they were grapes singing grapevine. That's just what it is. All right? Ten thumbs pro. We love you. Take care. Um, don't find another ukulele teacher because between those ukulele teachers, you know I love you more. All right, everybody, take care.